Hello everybody, this is Dolpha, and we're back in If My Heart Had Wings. Let's carry on. Why don't we just go instead of hanging around here? We won't have to work like slaves at the dorm, since it's a holiday. Alright. So, I guess he was talking to himself. I'm heading out. I took my phone out of my pocket and took a look at it. I sent Aga a message, but never got a response. Oh. Well, it's already late, so she's probably sleeping. Even so, it'd be nice to get a reply before she went to bed. Yeah. True. But it's daytime. Look at that! The sky's still blue! God. I headed over to the train station and went straight to the runway. More flight training. Yay. This is the training that I put all of my precious time and money into. I can't put even a second to waste. Even if it seems pointless, I at least have to test how I perform, remember my mistakes, and learn to focus on what matters. Fly, fly, fly. My goal is to get in the air as much as I can. I'm nowhere near the level I want to be. I need to study more. About the air, about airflow, about piloting. I need to learn it, experience it. I need it in me, like I need air in my lungs. The instructor's kind enough to praise my efforts, but just efforts won't get you anywhere. Last year's run-in with that violent undercurrent. I'll need to deal with winds like that as though it's second nature. So I'm guessing a lot more training. Oh dear. Yep, you'll have to. You'll have to do it, man. Do it! I spent several hours at the runway and returned back to the dorm. Ooh. I didn't feel even an ounce of fatigue while I was flying, but as soon as I got on the train back home, my entire body felt like it was being tortured and mutilated. Damn, this pain. Can I go on like this? I checked out how things were going at the secret base during a light run. I thought I'd continue on some work I started if I didn't feel too tired. I'll rest after I'm done here. I'll be alright. Kanako, aha! Kanako? Uh, yeah. Thank you. The same to you. And I apologize for not having the time to clean the dorm today. I appreciate your concern. Kanako grabbed my arm. What? Yes, Kanako. So Kanako is my third date. My third love. The third blossom in my heart. Okay. To where? Perhaps Kanako wants to see our secret face as much as Hotaro does. Ah, Windies! Um, you see. Very true. Ooh, something sweet. What? Something sweet? Yes, please. Just cause she's buying me some coffee doesn't mean she's impressed of me or anything. I've gone and created an awkward situation for myself. Next thing I know, I'm sitting in a food court with her at the same table. We get ice cream for two. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> Is it? Doesn't look like it. It's not a cheap cafe, I understand. <laughs> It's popular between couples! Or among couples! It doesn't really matter in the end, because lovey-dovey birds of love and jolliment like to come to these places and make out with their ice cream and uh, other stuff while I'm talking weirdly. She suddenly stared into my sullen eyes. W what is it? Am I going insane? Probably, because it's 11 p.m. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, I have plenty. Oof. Not really. I'm not even thinking about what you said right now. 
なこと考えてたんだよねあ、かなこさんが普通の服着てるーって How did she know? じゃないぞーってかなこ psychic nothing of the sort don't talk about that sort of thing in a place like this It's embarrassing! Underwear! Oh! Doki <laughs> Doki! It doesn't! No, it doesn't! Okay, so maybe a little, but she'll never know. It's just really hard because my heart races when she talks like that. That's why I'm on edge. What do you consider me as? I'm a boy, not a man! In your eyes, Kanako? You don't love me anymore? Hmm. About what? Other boys? <laughs> well, generally speaking, boys, including myself, get a little excited when we see a girl we like. I ignored that one. If you're just going to tease me, I'll just make my way back home now. I've got a lot of errands to run. Assistance. Hmm. Kanako placed her elbows on the desk. Just as she was leaning forward, I could see her chest swelling up in front of me. I couldn't help but watch her cleavage jiggle back and forth. And what's this about assistance? No, I didn't see anything. I'm not looking. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Kanako laughed as the wind blew past us. There's no way I can get out of a conversation with her while we're both here. You heard what? What is it this time? Well, we did in another universe. And, or timeline, in a way, I suppose. You've got the wrong idea. We're not lovers or anything. To say that we'd ever do something like that, it's inconceivable! Oh! Where does she even come up in all of this? Like who? Oh god. I'm a competition apparently. Apparently so. We've got to take a look at how strict the dorm rules are. Because betting is illegal. In a way, in some countries. That's obvious. <laughs> That's worse! Hmm. I tried to pick who'd be the sure thing. But for some strange reason, I wasn't able to form the words with my mouth. It's not like it's going to be Agiha or anything. Hmm. Kanako began to break into a smile. Are you? Oh, thank you. I'm just doing what I'm paid for. But, Mom, I wanted to be a pretty princess. What? There'd be underwear everywhere. True. I kind of understand what you mean because I went to an all boys school before. Without a woman to keep them tame, men are just dogs. Filthy, disgusting, and rebellious. Even I can't claim to be any different. Girls are the same. Being stuck in a single sex school is the worst. If I were a flying fish, I'd. I know. Well, 
I suppose. だから葵くんが来てくれて本当に良かったって心から思ってるんだよ。Okay. But I'm no one important. I'm just being myself. こういう機会でもないって言えなかったからね。今だけここだけの話だよ。What? I can't hear you. Speak up. I understand. ここだけついでにどうよ。葵くんとしては丸一年女の子だらけの場所で暮らしてみて。Don't I already do that at the dorm? In a way? That'd probably be a bad idea. At first, I was feeling tension in my chest, but I suddenly got used to it. It's actually gotten a lot easier to find used panties left in the laundry machine that girls end up throwing away. When you're with a bunch of guys all day, you begin to forget what it feels like to hold the opposite sex in your arms. Yeah, I definitely can't say that. Have I? Uh -huh. It does that thing? Oh my god. Kanako, stop it, please! <laughs> The morning wood! What are you talking about? <laughs> Amazing! She knows what she's doing. I gotta stop while I'm ahead, or I'll play right into her trap. Too late. Sure, I'm up for that. I think I'll pass. Because I'm stupid. I actually said it while keeping my composure this time. That's. I was speechless. The moment she said the word sure thing, I couldn't help but think of someone in particular. Once that image popped into my head, I was so ashamed of myself that I felt like dying. I wanted that image out of my mind. Throughout it all, I couldn't process what was going on at all. The whole time Kanako was eating, she watched me with a cheesy grin smeared across her face. Dirty girl! Why the heck do you get off on someone else's struggles? What? Sorry, I just got a message. It's from Agiha. Agiha chan ka na? Agiha. How do you know that? Yappa ni ne. Just a feeling. You called Kama then. Yeah, yeah. Kama. So na joto na mon ja nakte. Kama? Sare yori mail minoi de ii no? Okay, sure. Excuse me, please. Himitsu kitchen ni kite ri yo. Sagyo kanari hakadotta. Aoi wa soro soro modori ka na? Oh, my day's been fine. Oh, dou datta? Thank you. It was such a carefree letter, I felt strangely relieved. Sorry, Agia and everyone is waiting for me over there. I'll have to leave you behind. Unless you want to come with me, which is a normal thing you'd ask someone you took on a date with. And what are you apologizing for? Well, not really. It's fine. So, sarenara, mo chotto Aoi kun o hadaka ni shite mitai kedo na. Hmm. Why not? That's not in any weird sense, right? No, yo. Nai desu tomo. Nope. Tabun skoshi mo zenzen nai yo. Hmm. Not even a little bit, huh? Nai. Ehe, shinji te yo. Kanako. Demo. <laughs> oh yes, please calm me down, Kanako. Thanks for all the trouble. I've got to get going. Gotta get. Sorry, Kanako. 
Nope. She is right, after all. How could he just leave her there? I mean, take her with you, come on. Take her along, more fun that way. Huh? 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 I'm a bit confused as to what just happened. But I can't let that distract me. Just got to run straight there. We've already got food at the event. The sky's still bright. It's not like I'm holding anyone up. If I hurry things up, I can help out when I get to the runway. Fingers crossed. That's not the runway. That's the hill. Huh? 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 Uh, uh, uh. Oh, kita ne. I did, and I'm grunting. Agiha? I was too out of breath to ask her why she was here. You've been watching me. Great. Well, I'm here, so... No, I wanted to get here as fast as I could. Things went alright. I was able to get in a few more hours of independent training than usual. Okay. Thanks. You can depend on me for this one. How about you? Oh, Oh, nice job. But you've been doing this for a while now, haven't you? Cutthroat. Yeah. That sucks. Hmm. Maybe some lovey dovey fun? Here we are talking about how working conditions suck, but we're talking about it so calmly. Sure. She is too kind. She even gives me a chance to catch my breath before we head inside. Do do. Why are you so shocked, Ashaga? Ashaga, Asa. You're not Asaga. You have well, you have twin tails, but not red hair. I don't know. I'm going insane. Anyway, um, I think that's a good point to leave it. Because I am sleepy, even though I'm talking like a madman and probably making no sense whatsoever. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. This has been Delpha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye.